simultaneously a biting satire and straightforward, honest, coming-of-age adventure story, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is a quintessential American novel by famed author Mark Twain. Exploring the horrors of slavery, the complexities of race and identity, and the foibles of organized religion, protagonist Huck Finn encounters and processes the intricacies of America during the intense pre-Civil War period in which the novel takes place. Mark Twain was born Samuel Langhorn Clemens in Florida, Missouri on November 30th, 1835. He was a prolific writer and humorist who came from a poor family that only got poorer after his father died. When he was 13, he began working, first as an apprentice at his brother's newspaper, then, eventually, as a steamboat pilot, where it is believed he derived his pen name, Mark Twain, which is slang for 12 feet of water. After traveling the world extensively, Twain married Olivia Langdon during the 1870s, and he continued to write and give lectures all around the country during that time. When Twain's book, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, was published, he called it a hymn to childhood. The novel included the character Huckleberry Finn, and soon, Twain decided to write a book exploring this character, too. The book was banned by many who did not approve of the attitudes toward religion or how Huck behaves. Despite its controversy, the book sold well and later became respected as a classic of American literature. In addition to the stories about Tom and Huck, Twain wrote many books, including A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court and the anti-slavery novel The Tragedy of Puddinhead Wilson. Mark Twain died on April 21, 1910 in Reading, Connecticut. Understanding Reconstruction and Jim Crow are crucial to the context of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. After the Civil War, Confederates gained control over Southern legislatures, passing laws that denied African Americans basic rights. Reconstruction, the period of rebuilding following the Civil War, began in 1868 and saw black men gain full citizenship and equal protection under the 14th Amendment. But when Reconstruction was halted in 1877, Jim Crow laws were created. Fueled by racist Southern white fears that blacks were taking away employment opportunities, these laws overturned fundamental aspects of the Civil Rights Act. In 1896, with the passing of Plessy versus Ferguson, separate but equal laws were passed all throughout the South that made racial segregation legal. African Americans' opportunities for education and employment were severely limited. And all throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the NAACP reports that 2,500 or more African Americans were kidnapped, tortured, and murdered by mobs like the KKK without the protection of states that dramatically favored the rights of whites. Also representative of the times is the frequent use of the N-word in The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. The word was not initially used as a racial slur, but had already acquired its connotation as one by Twain's day. And the constant use of the term all throughout the text from every different character had some contemporary audiences seeing the work as racist and insisting on banning it. Parallels between fact and fiction are key to the novel, too. The overlaps between author Mark Twain's life and the novel are many. Locations throughout the South are renamed and repurposed for the novel. Huckleberry Finn himself is modeled in part after a childhood friend of Twain's. But the parallels between Huck's and Twain's views on slavery are more striking. Twain had grown up believing slavery was a morally acceptable institution, but he grew to bitterly hate it and was incredibly progressive and forward thinking for his time. As for the plot, in the introduction, we meet Huckleberry Finn, a kind-hearted but generally uneducated teen, being raised by his caretakers, the widow Douglas and her sister, Miss Watson, who try to civilize him, mostly through teaching him manners and religious morality. And while he respects them, he rejects their teachings. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is actually a spin-off of Mark Twain's book, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and the two novels intersect at the onset here. Tom suggests Huck join his gang of thieves and potential killers, but Huck thirsts for real independence and adventure, not just imaginative, childish games full of silliness and pretend whimsy. During the rising action, Huck's father, Pap, shows up to leech off his son's money, using it to drink excessively and cause trouble all over town. He abuses his son and eventually kidnaps him, locking him in an isolated cabin. Huck fakes his own death 
escapes to Jackson's Island, where he finds Jim, a runaway slave that belonged to his aunt, and the two adventure together down the Mississippi River, going on adventures that see them split up accidentally, reunite, and rendezvous with two morally unscrupulous con men posing as a king and duke. The king and duke invade the raft and enlist Huck and Jim in their various schemes. When things go badly for them, which they always do, they sell Jim. Huck decides to break his friend free, realizing that slavery is truly wrong. He heads to the home of the man holding Jim, and it turns out he's family to Huck's close friend, Tom Sawyer, who arrives to turn the tone of the novel into more of a slapstick comedy. After many wacky escapades, the climax sees Tom and Huck free Jim. But during the falling action, Tom reveals he's been shot during the dramatic escape. Jim tends to him while Huck seeks out a doctor. Jim is recaptured and brought back to his captors chained up. However, during the resolution, readers learn that Jim has been free for a long time. Tom knew this all along, but he wanted to have a silly adventure. Jim also reveals to Huck that his father is dead and that they'd actually encountered his body early on in their adventures, though Huck hadn't seen it was him. Huck decides to abandon a life of civilizing with Tom's Aunt Sally and decides to set out for the Western territories. The most important symbols in the adventures of Huckleberry Finn, the raft Huck and Jim ride, the Mississippi River itself, and even Jim, the slave searching for freedom who represents humanity and goodness in the face of generally accepted unjust institutions, all stand for more powerful themes. Maturation, a coming of age journey filled with growth and empathy, Racism, regressive ideologies that permeate every aspect of Southern culture. Cruelty, the vicious and wild feeling world Huck and Jim venture through. And hypocrisy, the mindsets that put all the characters, however virtuous, at odds with their behaviors and surroundings. The adventures of Huckleberry Finn, at times problematic, hilarious, disturbing, thought-provoking, poignant, and incredibly simple is always a great American story of adventure. It's a journey not just through the South, which author Mark Twain picks at with razor-sharp wit, but one of growing up, developing true morality, and understanding America itself. For better and for worse, it's a novel that still resonates today as a classic text exploring the American experience.